It is tough outside and with young sports going on, youth sports going on right now, high schools now getting underway with these scorching temperatures. Soon football and full pads will be out there. Athletic organizations are working to try and keep kids safe in the heat. Fox 13 News anchor Amy Nay takes a closer look at what they're doing today. I think um, being prehydrated, like drinking a lot of water beforehand before you get out is really like important. A little advice from one of the players in this weekend softball tournament in South Jordan. I think we just power through it like we're out here to play ball. So when we see the heat index rising earlier in the week, we'll change game times. Uh, so we're this tournament started at 8 o'clock in the morning. Jerry Cordova Ong is running the event, taking some special measures due to the hot weather. So we're prepared. The heat hasn't stopped as it may slow us down a little bit. Yeah, these are diehard kids. They love to play. Yeah, bring a cooler with some extra drinks. Water, of course. Brian So is a parent watching his daughter play softball, but also a football coach in Twilla, gearing up for their season. And we're getting ready to start two a days. And uh, yeah, we, we're already telling our kids, you need to hydrate now. There are certain guidelines that the schools are asked to follow by UHSAA to try to keep kids safe. So really in that first 14 days, they feel like it's very critical to climatize these kids. The Utah High School Activities Association has put out heat acclimatization guidelines on their website, which specify practices and breaks found at UHSAA.org. It could be soccer, lacrosse, it could be whatever it is, but football's kind of taken the lead just because of that, some of that protective equipment. Trevor Powell is assistant superintendent at South San Pete School District and a former high school football coach himself, saying we've come a long way. I'm just glad the state has really, really spelled this out for us. But he says there are new issues to deal with. As they build these facilities, more and more are going to turf. So now you have to control the heat on turf even more than natural grass. A spokesman for the Granite School District told Fox 13 News, most of our turf fields are equipped with water cannons to help cool down the turf as appropriate. So is there a message for parents? I'm, I'm a mom, I'm a football mom, and have a boy who's going to be heading out there on that field. If you may be a little concerned that you know, it's a little dangerous for them. I mean, beyond hitting each other on the field, we're right. talking about the heat, you know, related illnesses. Right. I would say uh, make sure they're hydrated. And he says if they feel off in any way, communicate to their coaches. But reiterating. It is hot. Drink lots of water. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah. Scan that QR code right now on your screen for more tips on how to stay safe in this extreme heat. There you'll also find a link to download our free Utah Weather Authority app to track the temperatures in your own neighborhood.